the photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly apply a high pass filter to an image. Now, the image is reasonably sharp, but it could do with some really sharp, nice bit of sharpening to the picture, and the high pass filter is great for that. For edges, mainly for edges, so sort of round here, so you can get it sort of sharp, just those edges. But obviously, there's now first thing to do, you can go to filter and sharpen and high pass. And you can see the edges there. You can see the edge all around, nice lines there. But of course, totally unworkable, unless you want a grey image. Now, apply that. If you want to use it, I always find it easier just to quickly go for, personally I use the live, but I'm just going to show you this. Just go to layer and duplicate. So you can do similar sort of thing. And just go down to linear light. There you go, um, quite a right. Going to go to filters again and make sure it's selected because that's the key thing, otherwise, it will be working. And, and then go to sharpen the high pass, and you can again see that now you can go all the way up and push it really high, and you can get this sort of unusual glow. So, it obviously, it just makes it slightly I want it around about there, and you get the probably the best sharpened image. So, click apply now. Just to quickly show you the effect, so you just go like that, and it's actually slightly blurrier there, and now it's nice, just sharper around all the edges, which is the functionality of the high pass filter. Now, even better is to just get rid of all that and go to layer, a new layer filter, layer, get it right, high pass filter, and then just go up to about the same and you can see again you've got the nice lines there and with this of course you can actually modify the blend mode so I'm just going to go to linear light again and there you've got it again much nicer sharper image applied there you can see the tree looks a lot sharper as well and that's that so again I can actually just get rid of that just to quickly show you and it's a slightly blurry image and then a nice sharper image around all the edges I hope you found that of interest Thank you much.